Okay. Hey everybody. Um, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to my um, pre-op appointment for my breast reduction next Thursday. Oh my god, it's next Thursday. Is it? Yeah, the 16th. Um, anyway, so today I guess I'm going to be finding out some more details as far as like what exactly I should be expecting as far as like what size I'm going to be and I, th I don't really know what else I'm to be expecting. Um, been stressing me out in general. So, <laughs> yeah. Mm. All right, I'll update you once we're done at the appointment. Okay, so I finished um, with my pre-op. I didn't want to film in there. I thought it might be a little weird. Um, they were taking pictures of my boobs. That uh, was kind of weird. But I also learned like a lot of stuff today as far as like um, when can I shave, what I have to do beforehand to get myself prepared. Um, but for the rest of the day, I've got some errands to run. But as soon as I get home, I'll show you, because they gave me a box of stuff. Um, Today, I'm actually on my way to go pick up a sports bra that I can wear to uh, all my appointments after the fact. Um, so it's going to be weird buying myself a, a smaller size sports bra because I haven't been able to fit in a sports bra in years. It's not going to hit me till I actually get to wear it, you know what I mean? So, and another thing I learned too, which I guess this was probably pretty like obvious, um, I am not supposed to wear uh, jewelry during the in one mile. surgery. Okay, so I'm finally home after what felt like the longest day. I just got done going to spin and out doing errands all day. I smell like shit. I smell, <laughs> I smell like I just need a shower. Um, but I kind of wanted to go over what the doctors gave me today because in the car I was telling you how I had some stuff that they gave me. So I want to show you what they gave. So to begin with, they started me off, sorry. They started me off with this little um, paper that shows me what kind of bra I'm gonna need for um, after surgery and um, my following appointments afterwards. So I got one of those. It has to be a zip up front, they said. Why is this out of focus? I'm so sorry. This is such an informal type of video because I want it to be as real as possible. I want my most genuine reaction to everything, and I am honestly very stressed. <laughs> it's probably not that big of a deal, though. Anyway, so she said um, that you need to have a zip front and a racer back type of um, bra because they're going to be getting me in the bra each time. Moving on, this is my little, um, it's like a care kit that they want me to um, use so this is to help me uh, recover faster they said so it comes with uh, surgery preparation stuff um, or like a list of things that I need to do you may eat food up until eight hours before your scheduled arrival time unless directed otherwise by your surgeon start drinking the carbohydrate carbohydrate <laughs> carbohydrate drink recommended by your surgeon two hours before your scheduled arrival time and and finish it within 15 minutes. So they gave me this. It's called Clear Fast. It's a nutrition drink. So it safely hydrates and nourishes before anesthesia. So that's cool. There's 200 calories in it. Excuse me. I'm not trying to get all my calories in that one drink. Um, but it's a very sugary drink. So I guess that helps with anesthesia. And then this also says you may drink other clear liquids up until two hours before your scheduled arrival time. Examples include water, clear apple juice, and tea or coffee without milk or milk substances. Do not drink orange juice. Another thing they told me is to make sure I'm really brushing and flossing my teeth very well because our infections in our mouth can also spread to other parts of our bodies. So that's pretty interesting. And of course, you're not supposed to be smoking kind of a given. Um, last but not least, they made this a big focus. So beginning one week before, do not shave or wax your legs, underarms, or the area of the body where we will operate. Night before, 
Shower or bathe and shampoo your hair. Wait one hour, then use the four antiseptic wipes provided. So they provide you with the antiseptic wipes. Gently and thoroughly wipe. Don't scrub your body in the numbered order on the diagram to the right. Then let your skin air dry. Do not wash off the antiseptic or use lotion, moisturizers, or cosmetics. Your skin may feel sticky, slightly itchy, or have some redness after applying. If symptoms occur... If symptoms continue, stop using the wipes and rinse your skin. Dress and clean nightwear. So pretty much it gives you a little diagram of like where I need to be doing these little wipes. So I just, just have to follow that. And yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it for that. I believe this is what I will be putting my clothes in the day of. I'm not really sure it doesn't there was no instruction as to what to do with this so I'm gonna put all that in there and something super exciting guys so my boyfriend took off a week of work to help take care of me after the surgery I feel like I look I really look like shit like real bad um anyway so he is going to be milking me for all intents and purposes he is gonna be um pretty much releasing the the fluids from my drains and he is going to be journaling everything that he does as far as uh, draining my fluids. He has to log that. So yeah, they call it milking. Like he's going to have to milk me. My boy, I can see the title of this video. My boyfriend has to milk me. It's all really starting to hit me now. Uh, this is like the final countdown. Uh, do -do -do -do. Okay, no. So today I had a day off. Tomorrow I work 12 to 4, so a four hour shift. Then the next day after that is my very last day off before surgery. So after Wednesday I work seven days straight. I go straight into surgery uh, right after. So this is my last week to really <sighs> take it all in, really realize <laughs> what's gonna happen. I'm so stressed, uh, but I shouldn't be. I know I'm in good hands. Oh, and another thing I wanted to mention and something to keep totally transparent, and this is like not, a, I just wanna share everything that is going on in my process as truthfully and as and as factual as possible. Um, so I went and saw how much my copay would be today because that was a big concern of mine. I was thinking it was gonna be like, a, few hundred dollars even though it's uh covered by my insurance and everything it's still a very expensive surgery to have in general so when i went into the office they asked me a few questions they um this is the office where uh you can get like medical release records and all that good stuff and also file for disability which i can't do until the day of my surgery for some reason she was like, is it an outpatient surgery? It is, meaning I'm gonna go home that night. I'm not gonna be staying overnight in the hospital unless there's some unforeseen complications, which I pray <laughs> there won't be. Um, so, so that was one of the questions and then she asked which hospital it will be at. I think both of those questions kind of play a part as far as how much it'll cost. Um, of course, like an outpatient thing that's less money for them because they don't have to take care of me overnight. So she told me my total for the surgery is $15. I know so many people who would love to have the surgery or they just don't want their breasts anymore for whatever reason. I am really fortunate to have this and I know that and I'm so beyond just blessed because it has made a really, it has made it really hard for me to live in the last few years. Um, I've gained over 50 pounds and I have totally lost all confidence and self-love for so long and finally taking this step to actually do something about it it, it, it kind of clicked inside of my brain like how much I do mean to myself and I am just 
I'm just so looking forward to this changing my life in all the best ways because it's not just cosmetic for me. It never has been. It's been a medical problem my entire life. They were concerned about like removing too much of my breast in case I do turn around and lose weight after the surgery because I will be able to be more active without being in pain constantly. Um, so they're only going to take me to a C, as I'm sure I've already stated, but um, it's just so that they'll still be proportionate if I lose weight, I guess. I don't give a shit if they're proportionate. I just don't want them, but the doctor recommended I do a C, and I guess that's fine. All that matters is I'm going to be able to sleep. <laughs> I'm going to be able to lay on my back. I'm going to be able to stand up straight. I'm going to be able to wear blouses if I want to. I don't really foresee that happening. And just like true, truthfully get to like dress how I want because I never have been. And I've always had to wear big shirts to either hide my breasts because they've always been so large and, and for people to not fucking stare at them. Uh, I'm stressed. So, yeah. I didn't even get to show you the bra, it's out in my car, but just know it's exactly what I showed you on that picture, but black. <sighs> yeah. Well, I'll see you guys in the surgery.